Hello there, darling. Yeah, it makes sense you wouldn't recognize me. But allow me to introduce myself. I'm your husband. I've been your husband for a while now, actually. I'll explain the situation. So, just a few minutes ago, you were being very sweet, as you always are. We were about to go to bed, but as soon as we're all tucked in nice and cozy, you were telling me how much you love and accept me, and things like that. You know, I always swoon when you fawn over me like that. You catch you. Now, I love you very, very much. I'd even go as far as to say I'm obsessed with you. And because of that, I've done some messed up things in the past. But you were telling me how much you love me anyway. And not just that, but you were telling me that you love me so much that even if you forgot who I was, you'd still remember that you love and feel safe with me. And then you even suggest I cast a temporary amnesia spell on you to make you forget about me for a few hours. You promised me you still love me and feel safe enough to cuddle me to sleep. And that's what I did. I cast that spell on you only after making sure a few times that you were actually okay with it, of course. I'm your dotting Kitsune husband after all. I have to make sure to take extra special care of my special someone. So, how do you feel? Do you feel safe with me? Really? You're sure you feel safe with me? Is there something else I can do to make you feel even safer? Should I cling to you? Normally, I cling to you like glue every single night, but... I'm not sure if that would be appropriate right now, since you don't recognize me. I'm not sure if it would make you feel unsafe. Alright then, I'll do it. I feel guilty though. I feel like clinging to you like this is more of my own satisfaction than yours. But my amazing, stunning sweetheart gave me the okay, so it should be fine, I suppose. Oh, you can cling to me too, of course. Do whatever you want. Squeeze my tail, squeeze something else, like my hand or anything. It's fine. I'm forever your adoring husband. I could never say no to you, darling. I'm so happy I snatched you up first. I don't know what I would do if someone else got to you first. Well, I do actually, but I don't think you'd like to hear about that. But anyway, so... Is it true then? Do you still love me? Even if you don't remember me? <laughs> I love you too. I must sound like such a broken record when I tell you how much I love, love, love you. But I guess it must all sound fresh to you now. I love you so much. I feel like a newlywed every single day when I'm with you. That's how happy you make me. But you don't remember how much I love you, right? Hmm... I wonder if I should remind you. Do you remember the first gift I ever gave you? It was a notebook I filled with by listing all the things I love about you. My father thought it was stupid that I was coming on too strong. 
writing so much about you like I was crazy. But you loved it. I was so happy that you actually loved it. You are the only person who ever make me feel that way. Like I'm sane in my own special way. <laughs> now that you lost your memories for a bit, do you still think that's a gift you would love? Right? I'm not crazy. I made it for you. I was meant to be your husband. You're such a wonderful and understanding person. I love you. I love your resilience. You go through so much and yet you still persevere to be here with me and make me the happiest man in the world. I love your company. Any day with you is a good one. If anything threatens your smile, I'll have an urge to destroy that threat. Completely and utterly, of course. I'd kill it for you. And then just to be sure, I'll kill it again. And again and again and again and again and again and again and... Again and, again and I'm sorry. What was I saying? Oh, right. I love you. Let's see... What else should I remind you of? Oh, right! You probably don't remember how good I'm at casting spells. Here, let me show you one. I'll cast a spell to make you feel extra precious. Here I go. Oh, hmm, that didn't work. Because you're already so precious already. Can't say I'm surprised there. My priceless, one-of-a-kind beloved. You probably don't remember, but I pulled that same gag on you on one of our dates. Here, I'll remind you about it. It was before we got married, actually. I hadn't asked you to marry me yet at that point, but I kept on giving you hints. You kept on finding marriage certificates in your pockets or under your pillow in places like that. One time, even in your cereal. <laughs> now that was a breakfast. I'd like to think I'm subtle sometimes. But anyway, about our date, we went to this carnival. And we were playing that game where you shoot the ducks. Not actual ducks, of course. Just little board or whatever you call them. And while we were playing that game, I was kind of bummed because I couldn't hit anything. Although, in my defense, it's kind of hard to aim when I'm too busy staring at the one who made me the happiest husband in the world. Though, I guess we weren't married at that point yet, but still... In my head, I knew we would end up married. That's just how destiny works. Oh, but I'm getting sidetracked. So, since I couldn't hit any of the ducks you were jokingly telling me to, I just imagined the ducks were heading on you. And after that, I was able to hit every single one of them. It's like some sort of supernatural power took over me. That was really smart and cute of you, sweetheart. Though you're already precious, so I can't cast the spell thing. Actually came up later on that day, but that's not what this story is about. I was just trying to remind you about a fun, cute little memory. Though you'll remember it in a few hours anyway. Oh, and speaking of fun, cute memories, here's another one I should tell you about. There was this one time where you asked me what my dream home was, and I said one with you in it. Well, I guess this is my dream home then. And there's still so many happy memories I want to share with you. I remember when we first held hands. You had put in so much effort into convincing me to finally wash that hand. 
And remember when I first visited your place? Later you would even let me in. And there was also that time where we had our first walk together. It was so romantic walking together at night. It was also under a full moon. Granted, I was trailing behind you by a few hundred feet, but still, it was just so romantic. I still have the pictures. <sighs> Those were the days. But I'm happy with our current days too. Our relationship feels more secure now. Now that we're married, and now that you're firmly in my greedy little grasp, I really like that. I don't want to lose you to anything. You're my special someone. You're my other half. The only one I could ever love. You're all I could ever ask for. And I could never bear to lose you. I'd rather lose everything else before I lose you. I'd rather lose my arms, legs, my sight, my home, my name, all my memories. You're mine. And maybe you don't remember, but you told me before that it's okay for me to call you mine. Which I am very grateful for, my dear beloved. Because I have an addiction to saying it. Although I can understand if I need your permission again to say that. Now that you're amnesiac for a little bit, so can I? Can I keep calling you mine? I can? <laughs> then I'll happily say it again and again. You're mine, you're mine, you're my darling, my darling, mine. And anyone who disagrees will have to make sure they barricade their homes and fireproof them too. And they might as well add a bunker while they're at it, just in case. Or though, I do have a spell for dealing with that. Hey, kind of a random question. And sorry, I know I have already asked this before. But, do you still love me? Even after everything I've told you? <laughs> I love you too. I'm so happy we went through this today. We've been happily married for so long, but you still figure out new ways to make me happy. You're amazing. Breathtaking. You are the meaning of my life. I always knew I made the right decision to marry you. I never regretted making you mine for even a second. You're looking kind of tired. I guess you should be sleeping soon. I shouldn't keep you up. Would it be... Would I keep you up if I told you how much I love you? I just really want to say it. You don't have to like focus on my words or respond to me or anything, that would just keep you up. Just know that I really, 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 really love you. From the moment of my life that I've known you, I've always loved you. Whether that moment was sucking at a carnival game or <laughs> putting a marriage certificate in your cereal. But like I said, you don't have to respond to me fawning over you. I just want to say it. I love you and go ahead and get some sleep. Sweet dreams, my love. And thank you for letting me know just how much you love me. <laughs>